what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be the recap for pretty little liars original sin season one episode one i believe it was titled spirit week so this of course is the series debut series premiere and it opens in millwood pennsylvania on december 31st 1999 we are shown a girl saying she needs help she sounds like she's very afraid we then see her limp inside a nearby location that's revealed to be a party where she asks for help from other party goers uh angela waters is revealed to be the, the girl's name and she makes her way over to a a girl named Sydney who seems like she is gonna help her before another girl named Davy stops her and then the party continues on Angela is shown climbing to the top of a balcony inside the party and jumps to her death after asking those in attendance if they see her now so this is clearly a, a girl who was an outcast at the school and bullied a lot I would assume as well so the girls the girls she tried to get to help her look on at her body as she lays there lifeless in front of them all uh, then we jump to 22 years later, we are introduced to Imogen, who is having dinner with her mother. Imogen is shown to be pregnant, as revealed after she stands up to answer the door for Karen. A friend Imogen seems to have a rocky history with, and there seems to be some tension going on between them right now in this present interaction. Karen is shown giving a note to Imogen's mother, who is revealed as Davy, the girl from the flashback at the uh, start. And the note reminds her of the event from 1999, that, and it says that she can't keep the past buried. Karen and Imogen are shown arguing about Imogen kissing Karen's boyfriend, so that reveals the tension that exists between the two already. And then the argument is cut short after they discover Davy in a pool of blood in the bathtub with a bloody A on the tile next to her. We are then jumping to a month later in September after this event. Imogen has been staying with Tabby after the death of her mother, Davy. Tabby is a friend of hers whose mom is revealed to be Mrs. Hayworth, a.k.a. I believe this was Sydney, the girl that was about to help Angela at the party 20 years ago. So Tabby and Imogen are shown walking to her house to retrieve an item and talk about Imogen's confident return to school. And after going to Imogen's house, we are shown a figure appearing from behind the door watching them. This more, more than likely was a nod to the scene in Halloween 1978 with Michael Myers and Tommy and uh, Lori going to the Myers house, dropping off a key or something like that. We're then shown Karen greeting Imogen upon her entry of the school and lets her know she's there for her. But she's just being a, a fake person because she makes a, a snarky comment about Imogen's pregnancy. And then Tabby reminds Imogen to have a good first day before leaving to take on before leaving her to take on the day. And then Karen is then shown mocking a character named Minnie before calling her a basic Barbie. We learn from another character named Noah that Karen has an identical twin sister named Kelly. And then we see Noah freak out about her teenage struggles and the upcoming dance in the hallway before she is greeted by her boyfriend, Sean, to comfort her. It's revealed that Noah is also under house arrest. And then Noah gets a text reading, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. She asks who this, who is this to the text or to the person that texted her. And they reply saying they are her conscience. We are then shown Tabby being established as a passionate movie fan and aspiring director in her, in her class. She says she started in a film club in response to the lack of diversity. She identified in a recent class assignment to the teacher. And Tabby gets a text asking what her favorite scary movie is before her teacher stops her from using her phone. We are then shown Imogen receiving a text as well, telling her to look out the window. She sees a masked figure outside, but they are gone before she looks back. Minnie receives a text as well. Then we jump to Karen not being pleased about her role in the Black Swan. This is where we also meet the character named Farron. Karen then makes a racist comment to Farron about her character. Farron then receives a text from A as well, saying she's going to slay as the Black Swan. And, and Farron asks who it is, but A replies saying they are just her number one fan. We are then shown Farron calling her mom to celebrate, and her mom is currently working in Pittsburgh. Farron's mom never wants to go to her school events, and it's revealed she was part of that group of girls as well from Angela's demise in 1999. Imogen goes to the nurse at school and decides she doesn't want to raise the baby alone without her mom like she planned, so she wants an abortion. She's reminded it's too late for one, and then we are shown Noah at community service 
Noah is at community service as we're shown and Tabby goes to her theater job after sneaking into the boys locker room to steal something she had placed in there like a camera or something. Noah is being watched by the masked figure during her service and decides to report the incident before catching the sheriff performing some sexual misconduct action I'll just say. Uh, don't want to go into all the juicy details. So Tabby talks to Wes at the theater. Wes is a I guess her manager at the theater talking to Wes about helping her set up a double feature of Get Out and Us so her classmates can be exposed to diverse comments diverse contemporary horror Wes honestly he seemed like a creep to me in this scene in true PLL fashion I guess so Imogen is shown going home and reads the note her mom got from A Noah comes home from community service and sees her mom who was also revealed as a girl from the group in 1999 Wes drives Tabby home but stops for a smoke she seems uncomfortable during this whole sequence to be honest Wes reveals he talked to the professors at her dream school revealing she's a young filmmaker they should look out for Wes goes to kiss Tabby but then they notice the masked figure is watching them Wes attempts to approach them or to confront the person until Tabby stops him. Now, Wes, again, Wes is a creep, already a creep. Tabby is then shown going home and plays the and plays the thumb drive she stole from the boys locker room with naked boys while she takes notes. Farron is practicing her role with Henry and then her teacher has a private conversation with her. Farron also is revealed to have scoliosis, something that could jeopardize her future. Minnie is shown in class before a guy named Ash invites her to a school group and asks her to have lunch with him. Imogen is meeting with the principal about the abortion discussion and they think this school might not be a good fit because she triggers her classmates. Imogen confronts Karen at lunch about the news she got from the principal because she blames her. She then reveals she's running for spirit queen against karen karen is shown at home having dinner with her parents and kelly her parent is revealed to be the sheriff the sheriff seems to scare karen it might be the source of some of her nasty attitude many chats with ash online but her mom comes in and it's revealed she was also part of the girls from 1999 karen goes to a pizza date and with her boyfriend greg and they argue about karen's frustrations Farron practices a role and she notices the figure watching her and starts roaming the school searching. Tabby and Imogen talk about her panic attack from the day before that led to her going to the school nurse. Imogen reveals she went back to the house to Tabby and she reveals the note she found from the night her mom offed herself. The masked figure is seen by the janitor wandering the school and the the janitor follows them with overconfidence what looks like A's lair. The masked figure appears from behind them, slits the janitor's throat. We then jump to the final scene of Minnie, Noah, Imogen, Farron, and Tabby being asked to go to the office over recent discoveries that they think Karen is responsible for. They think all of this is because Karen wants to be spirit queen that bad. Imogen suggests they should kill Karen and the episode ends. That was my recap for season one, episode one. If you haven't already subscribed, turn on post notification, never miss a video. In the description, I have links to social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. If there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.